What's good YouTube, it's your boy Jay, aka Scarzel, back with a new reaction video. Today I'm going to be doing some reaction to some comedy, this is my first ever comedy reaction. Like I do, I like a lot of stand-up comedy, but most of it I watch is like UK um, comedians. So yeah, I thought why not do some American comedy. Um, I just looked up top, uh, what was it, like top comedians in America and Dave Chappelle, Chappelle is number one. So yeah, I found this clip. It's called um, "He Finds Out His Son Smokes Weed." So I thought, yeah, that sounds like a funny one to start with. Yeah, man, and if he's the best out there, why not start with the best? So yeah, man, let's get into this. Remember, if you like the video, give us a sub. Appreciate that. Let's go. You know how I'm getting old. This is embarrassing, but I was in my hotel room. I was, I'm not gonna lie. I was jerking off, like, <laughs> and I was like really sweating it out. <laughs> <laughs> I said sweat it out. And this is when I knew I was old. I, I just gave up in the middle, like nothing even happened. <laughs> <laughs> is that when it's time to give up, yeah? <laughs> like, I don't like looking at my dick anymore. <laughs> my dick looks up. distinguished. It's old, old. <laughs> I said he don't like looking at his dick anymore. <laughs> Old <laughs> oh, looking dick. It's got salt and pepper hair all around it. So my bad. dick looks like Morgan Freeman in the nineties. <laughs> Without the dots. <laughs> you see the dots. This guy, bro. Oh, no wonder he's number one already, bud. My dick narrates. Dave pulled me out and started jerking me around and jerking me around. <laughs> but not with the same vigor as when he was young. <laughs> he and I both knew nothing was coming out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Brilliant. I see my age and my children. What's going on? I time? came home from the road. This is not long ago. I, I've been gone for, if you can picture, I was gone for weeks and weeks. And when I came back, uh, nobody was home. Now, one person in my family thought that uh, maybe I'd like to see them when I got back. Like, <laughs> they knew when I was coming back, but they just weren't, they just weren't home. And that shit <laughs> was a wake-up call. You know, like, when my kids were little and the tour bus would pull up to the house, these motherfuckers would spill out. <laughs> Dad is home. Hooray! <laughs> and they'd hug me and kiss me, and then, as the years went on, they'd get less interested. Hey, everybody, look, it's Mr. Promises, back from the road. <laughs> <laughs> but empty house, that's, that's some cold shit. <laughs> and I went into my oldest son's room. I was like, hello, hello. He was gone. And I'd never done this thing before, but for some reason, I just did it. I just, I just looked through his shit. <laughs> just to see who this motherfucker was becoming. And I found these notebooks and I started going through the notebooks and it was all this wonderful poetry in them. Written as his handwriting. I didn't even know this nigga wrote poems. <laughs> and then I looked through his drawers and I opened up his middle drawer and I found this rolling paper. <laughs> and I looked down at them papers like, oh. That's where that poetry's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> and that shit broke my heart. <laughs> I mean, I smoke weed, but I mourned my son's innocence. And I cried a little bit. And I took his papers upstairs to my room. <laughs> Rolled some weed that I'd hid from the family. <laughs> and I got really high. And then I got paranoid. So I put his papers back how I found them. <laughs> so he didn't know what I was up to. <laughs> Shit. This nigga won't even know that that happened until he sees his special. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I found your papers. <laughs> He's a cold motherfucker. Let me tell you, this kid is only 16 years old. Listen to what he did to me. This motherfucker calls me up in the middle of the night, it was one o'clock in the morning, he goes, Dad, don't be mad. I knew something was <laughs> terribly wrong. I said, what's going on? He said, listen, I'm fine. 
And don't forget, you told me to do this. <laughs> I'm at a party and my designated driver had too much to drink. And me and my friends need you to come pick us up. I said, Jesus Christ, it's one o'clock in the morning, nigga. I am shit-faced. <laughs> shit. I wondered where he's going with that, man. <laughs> but I figured, fuck, it's better me than some kid. I might as well roll the dice and go pick my nigga up. I said, all right, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Shit. Just give me the address and I'll be right there. Yeah. And then he gave me the address and I was, I was shocked. I said, son, you are not going to believe this, but I'm at the same party. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Oh, that is brilliant, man. <laughs> he killed it. <laughs> Oh man, so creative. So that was Dave Chappelle finds out his son smokes weed, man. That is funny, man. Flipping, I've not seen that one. Like, I've seen some of his stuff, but yeah, man, that was funny as shit, man. <laughs> he killed it, man. <laughs> oh man, yeah, if you got any other Dave Chappelle um, stand-ups, or even, I don't know if he does TV shows, I think he does, or any programs that he watches, uh, that he's in, that he watches, that he's in. Let me know, comment below, and I'll check them out, man. But yeah, any more stand up and uh, any more American stand up? Because that's what I'm going to start doing. Because, like I said, I've watched quite a lot of British stand up. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind watching a lot of getting into like some American stand up. So, if you've got any American art, um, comedians that you like, yeah, check out this or even any particular video, put that in the comments below and I'll check it out, man. But yeah, thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Peace out.